everybody, this is Diana from So Very Crafty, and we are here today to make this fantastic serger cover. This serger cover was made for my Husqvarna Viking S200, but it'll fit most any serger out there. It is a super simple sewing project that anyone with basic sewing skills can make. You can even use your serger to make this terrific little project. I use my sewing machine because I added some applique to my little serger cover, but use your serger if that's what you're comfortable with. It is a super simple project and I urge you to give this one a try. I was in desperate need. I mean desperate need of a serger cover for my serger. I had a little plastic one and it didn't do the job. I have dust all over my serger definitely not what you want to have a good functioning serger when you need it. So take a few minutes, create this little project, and if you like it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more simple sewing projects that anyone with basic sewing skills can make. So let's get started on this super simple serger cover. Okay, so let's get started on our serger cover. So what we need is we need to cut our fabrics and we have two outer fabrics of our pattern piece, two fusible fleece, and we are also going to have two lining pieces of our fusible fa fabric if we choose to line ours, but you don't have to line yours if you don't want to. We are also going to have one 14 inch wide by 37 inch long piece of fabric of our outer fabric, lining fabric, and our fusible fleece. That's going to be the body of our serger cover. Then we're going to have just some scrap pieces of fabric for our applique letters. Now I have printed out these little bubble letters for my applique and I will put the link to those at the bottom of the comment section. So if you want to use these bubble letters for your applique, uh, you can just print those out uh, easy enough. Um, no problem at all. The pattern piece for this particular uh, serger cover will be in the comment section as well. You can just print it out, uh, tape it together, and it should fit any, just about any serger out there uh, without any problems. Uh, this one fits my Uskarna Viking S200, but it should fit most sergers out there. Um, if not, you can modify the pattern to fit your serger uh, by adding an inch or two here or there. Um, but for the most part, it should fit your serger. So print out the pattern piece, tape it together, and just cut out your fabric pieces. Now, the first thing that we are going to do uh, for our uh, project is we are going to fuse the fleece to the outer fabric piece that we have. Now you'll notice on the fleece, there is a nice fleecy side, and then there's a rough, sort of bubbly side to the fleece, and that rough side is the glue side of the, of the fleece. We're gonna place that glue side to the wrong side of our fabric, and we are going to press so that that glue melts and fuses with our fabric. We are gonna do that to all of our outside fabric pieces. So that's going to be the long 14 by 37 inch piece, and to the two side pieces that we have. So let's head over to the iron and just fuse our fleece real quickly and I, I will be back and show you the next step. Okay, we are back and we have fused our fleece onto our fabric. So we are gonna move on to our next step, which is to add the applique to our uh, serger cover. Of course, you don't have to do applique if you don't want, but I thought it'd be really cute to this project. Um, but in order to do that, we are going to use a product called Wonder Under. It is a fusible web. Uh, different companies have it. I happen to use the Pellon Wonder Under uh, for this project. Um, but you will need a pro product like this in order to have a nice, clean applique. 
You will notice that it on one side of this product there is a uh, paper side and on the other side there's a, a little bumpy side which is uh, a glue side. Um, in reality this is just sort of a a very thin glue uh, but for now it has a paper side and a glue side. So what we're going to do is we are going to take our little pieces of fabric that we cut out and we are going to place them on the glue side of our Wonder Under and we are going to iron them onto this glue side and come back once they're fused or ironed onto this glue side of this uh, Wonder Under and go on to our next step. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have these pieces of fabric that I've cut out, just little squares that I'm going to use for my letters. I'm going to flip these over so that the paper side is facing up. And I'm going to take my letters and I am going to place them face down. And this is what's important, is that these letters are face down on my fabrics. And the reason that it's important for these letters to be face down is because when we remove the backing of our Wonder Under and we turn these letters over, to be fused down onto our main fabric as they will then be facing face up. So we are going to take our letters, have them face down, and then we are simply going to draw around them with a, a regular pen or you can use your friction uh, heat erasable pen. It's really up to you. But we are just going to trace these letters all the way around and then we are going to cut them out. Okay, so now we have our letters cut out. Now we are going to measure up from the bottom of our serger cover six inches and draw a line. And I'm going to use this friction erasable pen just to draw the line across here and that's just so we can line up our letters so that they're nice and straight. Now you can place your letters uh, if you want it to be more in the middle eight inches or so above the bottom is fine. I want mine to be a little down below uh, so I'm going to place mine about six inches from the bottom. I'm going to then Take off the paper backing of each of these letters and I'm going to fuse them to the front of my body part of my serger cover so that they read surge in the correct way. So they're no longer upside down. So we're gonna head over to the iron 
and we are going to remove this backing and press these with a hot iron onto our front of our uh, serger cover. And when we're done pressing with pressing these letters, we are going to take a zigzag stitch and we are just going to zigzag all the way around the edges of these letters to more securely um, anchor them to our fabric. Now you don't necessarily have to uh, zigzag them. You could just leave them plain uh, used on there and they should stay fine. But I like the look of the zigzag stitch, so I'm going to zigzag them onto my uh, serger cover for a more permanent uh, look and to give the uh, letters a little more pop on the outline. So I'm gonna go over to the iron and to the sewing machine and finish up these letters and we'll come back and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so we are now back and we have finished our serge letters on our uh, serger cover. And we are gonna set this aside for a minute because I'm going to add some piping onto my serger cover. Now, this is an optional step as well. You do not need to add piping, but I thought it would add a little bit extra pop to my serger cover. And I've just purchased this uh, pre-made uh, piping that you can buy at any fabric store. I bought this at Joann's. Um, it just comes in packages, easy to use. So all I'm going to do is put this on the front part of my serger cover and we're going to start out by simply pinning this raw edges together along the front edge of our fabric panel pieces, our side panel pieces. We don't have to worry about the back side of this, so we are just going to pin this to the front of our panel piece. And again, watch, uh, we have these pivot points. But this is sort of cut on the bias, so it's easily turned on these corners. You don't have to worry about them. And we're just gonna cut that off. We don't have to worry about this backside because that's not going to be seen. And we're just going to repeat this process for the other side. And remember, uh, we are going to stitch this piping to our outer piece first before we add this to our uh, outer fabric piece. We're going to stitch this on. Remember when you're doing this that you want to make sure that you remove these pins. You definitely don't want to be sewing over pins when you are sewing this. That's it, you just need a few pins. Let's clip it off on the bottom. Now we're just going to go over and we are going to use our zipper foot and we are going to run right, right along this edge of our piping and sew this piping onto our panel pieces. And I'll be right back as soon as I've done that. Okay, we are back and we have stitched on our piping to our panel pieces. Now all we need to do is add our panel pieces to our main body piece and we will uh, have the front part of our serger cover finished. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take our main body piece, we're going to take one of our panel pieces, we are going to place them right sides together. And you're going to notice that we are placing the short side of our, our panel piece right sides together with our main body piece. And we are just going to pin this. Don't worry about the uh, piping because you can see your stitching line along this edge and you know that you are going to be fine. We're just going to continue to pin. so that our main body piece goes all the way around Now as you can see we have what looks like the beginning of our serger cover and as you can see I have a little bit of an extra uh, left over on the bottom, you can just trim that off using a rotary cutter. Um, so I'll trim that off after I finish uh, sewing around this. So we are going to sew this. Just follow your uh, stitching line that you use for your uh, piping and all should be well. Use your zipper foot uh, on the back side where you have no piping. Just use a quarter inch seam allowance and you should be fine. Um, we'll sew all the way around this, and that will be our first panel piece. Okay, we have finished the front cover of our serger, the front first panel of our serger cover. And as you can see, our piping looks fantastic. All we have to do is do the other side exactly the same way as we did this side, and uh, then we can add our lining. So I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I'm going to add this second piece exactly the same way as I added this side, and I will be back and we will finish out our, our front um, main body piece of our serger cover. Okay, now we have finished the front of our serger cover. The outer portion of our serger cover. Um, I have this little extra on the back, so I am going to take my rotary cutter and I am just going to trim off this little bit of extra fabric that's on the back side here. To make it even with the sides. Now, how cute is that? Now, you have a choice. You can just simply hem this all the way around and finish off your serger cover, or you can do a lining. I've opted to do a lining for mine. I've already created it because you create it exactly the same way as you do the main outer bag, but you're gonna leave a hole in the lining just like this because you're gonna to wanna to turn this uh, serger cover. So just create the same exact uh, cover exactly the same way that you did with the outer bag, um, with the lining, with no piping and no fusible fleece, it's just the fabric, leaving that hole in one side so that you'll be able to turn this uh, right sides out when you need to. So all you're going to do now is you are going to place the outer bag, the outer cover, 
inside the lining cover so that they are right sides together. And then you are going to pin all the way around the bottom. And once you pin all the way around the bottom and you're going to match these side seams, make sure that they, they match all the way around. You're going to pin and then you're going to stitch all the way around the bottom. And what I'm, go I'm going to go ahead and go over to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch all the way around the bottom of this uh, serger cover. Then we're going to come back and we're going to turn this right sides out with the lining uh, if you choose to do a lining on your project. Okay, we have now added our lining and we have to now turn this cover right sides out. So we're just going to reach inside that hole that we left in our lining and pull out the outer cover through the lining so that it comes right sides out. And you can see this is a very easy project. This hole is plenty large enough for all this fabric. And you will see that we actually have two bags attached to each other. And we are going to stuff our lining inside of our serger cover. And the next thing we are going to do is head over to the iron and we are going to press this seam all the way around the bottom so that it's nice and tight. And then we are going to top stitch around the bottom. That way our lining is attached neatly to the serger cover and we can finish our last step which is to close up this hole in our lining. Now you can do this by machine or you can do it by hand using ladder stitch or slip stitch. It doesn't really matter because it's not going to be seen. So I would uh, just quickly maybe just do a ladder stitch or a machine stitch. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, it's not going to be seen. Um, but I'm going to head over to the iron and then to the sewing machine and we are going to finish up this project. Okay, here we are. We have finished our serger cover. We have top stitched the lining to the outer cover and we are ready to go. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, little project. It is a great beginner sewing project. You can even make it with your serger if you want. I decided to use my sewing machine uh, because I added the uh, applique to it. And uh, But you can use your serger or sewing machine. Totally up to you. But this is going to keep your serger dust free from now on. And it is a fun and functional sewing project. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Go over to Sew Very Crafty for more sewing and crafting tutorials. And I hope you have a great day and keep sewing. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Goodbye.